Hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. Well, actually, it's not. It's it's Mr. Pouts. And um, is that movie too old for you guys? Fat Albert? Man, that was a classic. Anyway, we're going to learn some more about volume. And if you've ever seen the movie Fat Albert, he's definitely got some volume to him. But not the volume that we're talking about with loudness, but the volume of size, three-dimensional size. How much you can fill into something. So volume is not something that's new to you. Um, it's something you've learned in the past. It's also something that we just reviewed with prisms. But we're going to go a little bit further with volume. So just as a, an, a, as a reminder, volume is the area of a, the space that a 3D shape takes up. So picture... Um, Picture a cup or a water bottle. How much water you can fill it in, that's the wall, That's the volume of it, okay? So um, we're on in lesson 26, day one, and this is on page 228 in your notes. So if you could go to page 228 in your notes, that would be awesome. We're going to go through some of these uh, notes here. Please follow along and take some notes as well. So at the very top, it says, how is finding the volume of a cylinder like finding volume of a rectangular prism? So just as a reminder, you already have done the – area or volume of a rectangular prism and a rectangular prism or a triangular prism it's it's a boxy type of shape so this rectangular prism this is a great example volume of a rectangular prism is area of the base so that's the big b so we talked about volume is big b times the height okay area and that big b is area of the base so that's the big b height is height of the whole prism not just height of the base so to find the area of the base, um, I would find whatever shape has the same shape um, on top and bottom. So it's a rectangle. So you can say length times width to find the area of that. And then it's like how many of those pieces of paper uh, on the base stack up to make the whole thing. So you multiply it by the height. That would be the same thing as length times width times height. You've also learned it that way. But I want to focus on this formula because this is going to help us with a lot of other shapes as well. So we're going to focus today on... Um, finding volume and kind of comparing it, starting to compare it with volume of cylinders, spheres, so like a ball, um, and cones, things that, things that have round roundness to them. So let's go to the bottom of this page 228. How can you find the volume of a cylinder? Um, we're going to find it pretty much the same way as a, as a rectangular prism. It's just there's differences about the shape. So let's read through here. It says the volume of a cylinder can be found by multiplying the area of the base times the height. So we're still going to use volume equals big B times the height. But in this case of a cylinder, the base is a circle and not a rectangle. So we're not going to do length times width times height because this big B is a circle. There's a circle on the bottom and top. So that's the base. So use the formula for area of a, cir area of a circle which we've also reviewed, to find the area of the base and then multiply it by the height. So the radius uh, of the circle R um, is halfway across the circle. Remember, that's the radius. Um, it's actually shown on the top here as well. So the area of the base is pi R squared. So now we can find the volume of a cylinder. If we do area of the base times the height, big B times H, we would do pi R squared times the height. So ultimately, volume of a cylinder can be found by doing pi times radius squared times the height of the whole cylinder. Okay. So now let's look um, top of the next page. What are the formulas for volume of a cone and volume of a sphere? Now before we do that, um, I wanted to just because so we got an idea here. Let's go back to this cylinder. Let's say the radius, which the radius is three of that's the base, and let's say the height is ten. So I would do the volume is the area of the base. So pi r squared, pi times the radius is 3, 3 squared, which would be 9, times the height of 10. Okay. I know 3 times 3 is 9 times 10 actually gets me 90. So it's 90 pi if I simplify those numbers. And then that's approximately equal to, let me grab my calculator. Oh, it disappeared. So I'll use this calculator. I have a different one. Um... 90 times pi, and pi is about 3.14, but you all have a pi button on your calculator that I'd like you to use. So 90 times pi, and then we can round it so it's as accurate as possible. It's about 282 
we'll say 0.7, and we don't know what this one is, but it's units cubed. Remember, with volume, it's three-dimensional, so it is cubic units. All right, let's just talk a little bit about these other volume formulas before we actually practice them next time. So top of page 229, what are the formulas for volume of a cone and volume of a sphere? Because those are both rounded shapes as well, but they're slightly different. So let's let's visualize here. It says the cone, I'm going to read this through here, the cone and, and the half sphere below are shown inside a cylinder. The cylinder, the cone, and the half sphere all have the same circle as their base. They also all have the same height. They all have the same height going from the top to the bottom. So the volume of a cone is actually going to be one-third of a cylinder. So it's almost like you can picture um, another cone in here, another cone in here. So there's three of them total. Um, I'm going to erase those. But... We go. Um, so volume of a cone is actually one third of the volume of a cylinder. Meaning, if I scroll down here, we have one third area of the base times the height, and the area of the base is still a circle. So it's one third pi r squared times the height. That's the only difference from a cylinder. It's one third of the cylinder. The volume of this one says volume of half a sphere. It's actually two-thirds, so you can see it takes up more space. It's two-thirds of that cylinder, but since we're going to be dealing with a whole sphere, we're going to double that two-thirds, two-thirds times two, or two over one, gets you four-thirds. So there's actually the fraction four-thirds in the volume of a sphere. And that's shown here. Volume of a sphere, it's two times the volume of a half circle, or half a sphere. So... 2 times 2 thirds, that's 4 thirds. So ultimately, volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, pi r cubed. So that is interesting, isn't it? Because we have to multiply it by the height, which is also... There you go. So 4 thirds pi r cubed is the volume of a sphere. Now that one is the most interesting to me so far because you have a fraction 4 thirds, you have the radius cubed. It's definitely harder to remember than the other ones, but um, that is the formula for volume of a sphere or a ball-shaped figure. So that's what we're going to stop with today. We're going to actually do a little bit more next time. I'm looking ahead in the notes. Um, we're going to do some more examples of this in the next lesson and actually use them and solve them. But I want you to reflect here, where it says reflect at the bottom. How can you use the formula for volume of a cylinder to remember the formulas for volume of a cone and volume of a sphere? So I'd like to stop, pause, and just think about that. How can you use, if you know the volume of a cylinder, how can you use that to help you with the other two that we just learned today? All right, hopefully you have an answer down. Um, this can be different answers. Like, I'll give you one possible answer, but this is there's multiple different answers that you could say. All right. I think I'm going to type it because it's actually going to go faster for me on this device. But possible answer. We could say the formula for volume of a cone is one third of the volume of a cylinder. The formula for volume of a sphere is four thirds the volume of a cylinder where the height is the same as the radius, so we actually have to not have another radius. So let's just like kind of compare them. I would say they all use the area of a circle in the formula. Okay, and the height. But Cones are actually one-third of a cylinder. And spheres are four-thirds in total. And also multiplied by the radius again. Which gives you the radius cubed, OK? 
Okay, so that's just a possible answer. That doesn't have to be your answer. We're just looking for similarities and differences between the three and how they are all related, but they are yet still all different. So that's our lesson today. Just kind of talking, starting the discussion on volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. And next time we're going to focus on actually using those and finding the volume. So we'll see you next time. Albert out.